field. Now Elmy Cannon, Joe Brennan and Philip Brady. And it breaks to Brian McMeal. He brings in hard. Seamus McAlvey gets the ball. He's going forward. Seamus is going forward. Plays to Brian McMeal. Brian. To Mickey Caulfield. Yes. A point. The first point for Scotstown. And that should settle them. Well played, Brian McMeal there. Fergus takes a long kick into space. Seamus McCarvel. Seamus gets it. Seamus is going. Into Ray McCarr now. Where do you see Ray taking these boys on? Oh, great ball over to Ronnie McDermott. Ronnie in space. Ronnie kicks it and it's over the bar. This is a very exciting match. Just coming up to half time now. Noel takes the kick. Looks good. Into the square. Jerry McCarvel rises high. Jerry. Oh, good ball out of defence to Jared Caulfield. Jared coming out of defence now. And Jerry. Kick into space. Brendan Lillis flanked by Philip Brady. Brendan wins possession. Long kick by Brendan Lillis into space. Steps up. He's going to try a short one, is he? No. Into the square. Brian McMeal wins it. Breaks on to Brendan Began. And Brendan's going to tip it over the bar, is he? Yes. Wide. Oh. Hold on now. There's a problem here. I think Brendan maintained that ball went over the bar. The referee going to consult with his umpires. And umpire Paddy Megan, I think, is going to give it, is he? Um, one umpire signal wide, I think it's going to be a point, is it? Yes! Point for Scotstown by Brendan Began. The, Ray goes, the ball goes off Eamon McMahon, and Ray's going to take a quick one. A great ball by Ray McCann over to Brian McMeal. Brian McMeal cuts inside! Oh, great point by Brian McMeal. In his first county final, doing exceptionally well so far. Now we can Joe Brennan. Niall boxes it. Breaks to Brendan Lillis. Brendan comes through. A tough challenge. Plays it back to Jared Caulfield. Jared out to Ronnie McDermott. Lying loose. Seamus McCarver's loose in the centre. Plays into Seamus. Seamus goes through. Kicks it. And it's over the bar. Another point. Two points for Scotland within the space of 30 seconds. Bounces. Jerry McCarver comes out with it. Jerry playing a real captain's part today. Fergus Caulfield clears it downfield. And Ray McCarn's going up with it. In McMahon. And Ray wins it. Ray, here, here comes Ray. Ray's going forward. And fouled is he. P plays advantage to Ronnie McDermott. And to Seamus McCarvel. To Ray McCarn. Yes, a goal by Ray McCarn. A brilliant goal after play by Seamus McCarvel. And with five minutes to go, could that be the score that clinches this county title for Scotstown? 3-6 to 11 points, 4 points between the teams, 5 minutes to go. Nudy kicks up the field of the left foot, Brenton Lillis goes up for it. Breaks away to Eugene Sherry. Eugene over to Jack McCarvel. Jack to Niall McKenna. Niall into space to Ray McCarn yet again. Referee Damien Campbell in the middle of the field, checking with his officials, about to throw the ball any moment now for the second half of this Ulster Club Senior Football Championship final. Everything to play for here, an exciting second half in prospect. The ball is thrown in, it's broken down and collected by Jared McGurk for Scotstown. Ray McCarran once again the free taker. About 20 metres 20 out from the goal line and goes slightly to the right of the post, so becomes left with it and sends it over the bar for to open the scoring in the second half. Here comes, right footed, in the direction of Kieran Carr, but Kieran Carr can't collect the ball as eventually is picked up by Jerry McCarville, and Jerry sends Scotstown on the attack again. It's Declan McPhillips, and Declan McPhillips from about 30 metres out, kicks and long, high, and over the bar, and this free will be to Scotstown. Jerry McCarvel gets a quick free. It's taken to Brendan Began, and Brendan Began from an acute angle sent the ball left for it, sure, and over the bar. And eventually it is taken. About 30 metres out from the Scotstown goal, it's well fielded there by Brendan Began for Scotstown. Brendan has fouled, has broken down two players. Niall Wiley gets his kick in, the ball coming across, but substitute, 
Thomas McCullough badly judged that ball when he was all alone on the and again the Scots Town defence rally and Sean Scullion sends a long relieving clearance way into the centre of the field the ball collected there by Jared McGurk and Jared McGurk sends Scots Town on the attack the ball is passed into the bidding Ray McCarn and Ray McCarn has shot to the back of the Coal Island net and so the score here at the Athletic Grounds after 18 minutes of play. The Scots Town one goal and nine points. The Fianna Coal Island four points. To the far side of the field. The kick is blocked down, coming in the direction of Jerry McCarville. Eventually it's picked up by Sean McCarville. And Sean McCarville, a long relieving clearance way down towards the centre of the field. The ball is further sent down towards the waiting Brian McMeal. Brian all alone sends the ball in towards Michael Caulfield. And Michael Caulfield sends and the ball crushed to the back of the Coal Island net and surely whatever faint hopes Coal Island had they have been completely dashed Scotstown two goals and nine points Nofina Coal Island four points Eugene Sherry again takes the kick. It's a long high ball way down to the centre of the field. It's boxed further down there by Jerry McCarville. Eventually the ball is picked up by Seamus Gwynn and the referee's whistle is gone. And Scotstown have won the 1989 Ulster Club Championship on a scoreline of two goals and nine points to Coal Island's five points. to a good game of football rather than kind of the scrappy type of play that we've had in the two previous games? Yeah, well, an awful lot has been made of the scrappy play of the two games, but I think we should bear in mind that during the years, Scotland and Blaney have met in various championships in first rounds and semi-finals, and have always produced a very, very good game. Unfortunately, this year, the games just haven't been up to the standard that the neutrals would expect, but I've no doubt all the tension has left the two teams at the moment. There'll be no nervousness whatsoever, and I think we're going to have a very good open game here today. Well, we're all hoping for the same thing, John. Thanks for speaking to us. Thank you. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Ray McCarn's going to take this one himself. Kicks it, left footed, high, and it's over the bar. First score of the game, and it's a point to Scotstown, scored by Ray McCarn. Emma McGinney going very high. Fergus Coffey going back in to cover off. Jack McCarville out on the loose out here along the wing. Feeds it back into the centre. Brian McNeil in for Jerry McCarville. Jerry and Sid, but it's Jerry that gets the better of this one. That's on, he's going to pass, but in time, turns and kicks it right footed and it's over the bar. High for Nudie. Too high for Nudie. Fergus Caulfield is there. Fergus tries to feed it out to Morris Bile. Morris does well under pressure to get it. Is Tackled there by Aidan Tavi. Tackled unfairly, says the referee. Morris Bynum gets it free. Gets it into Jack McCarville. Over for Colin Morgan. Colin gets it at the second attempt. Nobody coming for him. Makes his run for it. John Mulligan tries to give it back to Jack McCarville, but has to go after it himself. John gets it up, even under pressure from Keith Hanratty. Is fouled and gets his free. Jack McCarville. Gets it out to Jared McGurk. Scotstown on the attack. In front of goals, three men come at him, and it's a free in for Scotstown. Jared's going to take this himself out of his hands, I think. Jerry McCarver wants it on the ground, but Jared takes it and kicks it nicely and over the bar, and it's a point. And the Second half is now on, and first to the ball is Blaney. Aidan Tavi getting it out to Derek Sullivan, feeding it down. Eugene Sherry clearing it out, up for Declan McPhillips, down the centre. Moody brought his man out and let the hop go over their heads. Eugene Sherry, Kevin Boyle, Morris Boyle. Morris, we out to the far side, Colin Morgan chasing, Colin getting there. Tom Russell with him. 
still Colin Morgan. Colin out to Jared McGurk. Jared gets past a couple of tackles, gets a left footed shot in, and it's over the bar, and it's a point for Scottsdale. Quite a pleasant day as Derek Sullivan gets the ball in for Peter Duffy. Peter, this fast moving forward, makes a run towards goal, drops the ball. Seamus Mullen goes back, picks it up, tries to get out, gets it out to Fergus Coffey. Coffey with plenty of room, gets the kick in again for Roger. Roger comes out this time. Brian McNeil, still with Brian McNeil. Niall McKenna gets the first touch of the ball. Niall gets it up into his hand, passes it in for Jerry McCarvel. Still Jerry with the ball out to Jared McGurk. Jared left footed. It's high, it's high, and it's over the bar. It's another point for Scottsdale. George Duffy with the kick out. Two Scottsdale men again going up, and it's Ray McCarn with the ball this time. Ray going on a solo run, gets into his position with the left foot. He kicks it high, and the crowd knows it. It's over the bar. It's level pegging. 21 minutes gone. Jared McGurk, Scotstown are starting to liven up. Jared McGurk, Colin Morgan. Colin running out into the corner. With him is Tom Russell. Still Colin. Gets Roger McDermott's pass. Pass to Roger. Roger turns around. He kicks it high. It's very high. Has it gone too far? Still in play. Brian McNeil. 